but in the new game, it's very hard to come by broken glass. And we started using it straight at the beginning. And what would happen is um, we wouldn't die. The game would not let us die. Um, so I tested it just before and apparently one piece was enough to send me straight home. So it's working again. Um, yeah, the the regular mine, migraines and stuff. Look, I've had all the scans that are available to find out what goes on with that. And I've got nothing going wrong. Like I, my main concern and the doctor's main concern was maybe I had like tumors or some shit. But um, <laughs> yeah, well, it does. It just shows that every so often there's like something's, something's uncomfortable in there. Look, it's mostly fine. I think it's one of those things that are hereditary genetically because my dad gets migraines, but he gets the severe ones for like a day kind of thing. So when he gets a migraine, it's incapacitating. It's 100% like he has to be in a dark room, absolute silence, cold, everything, just to be able to deal with it. I only get those every so often. And when I do, they don't last a week. Um, but after... After we managed to record it over the process of a year that I was getting them almost every month and sometimes back to back. So sometimes I'd have like maybe three or four days before going into another three week migraine. Um, that's when the doctor suggested that I actually go on some medicine for it. And since then it's actually been pretty good. It hasn't been too bad. I, I still get them, but I only get them like maybe twice a year sometimes like maybe two or three times a year I get like the really long migraines and they don't roll into each other anymore um plus I do find if I can figure it out at the beginning I can take my extra medicine that's supposed to prevent it from going into a long one and it will just kind of like it'll cap it on the head before it really gets going I wonder if this is the entire thing um as for the eating salt so that's an interesting thing. So last week, this is why I thought that it was just um, dehydration. I actually ate my bowl of lemons that I like to eat as a snack with salt on them. And I took a photo for to put on my Instagram and stuff so you guys would actually see what it was because there was a little bit of confusion about how I ate them. And I ended up cracking a bit of extra salt because it kind of had like a brain moment that didn't happen and I thought oh because the the salt had start to dissolve so I put more salt on it so I ended up having like all the salt with my lemons which they were delicious by the way um but the following day I was so fucking dehydrated because I hadn't had them for ages and I haven't had anything really salty for a long time and I obviously didn't drink enough water to combat it which I normally would and yeah so the next day I was like really dehydrated I could not drink enough water and that's when my migraine started and I thought, oh, it's just a dehydration headache. I get those occasionally if I don't drink enough water. And, yeah, I ended up, it's not that. It's it's definitely not that. I wonder if this would work better. It does pull it apart better. I don't think I was getting any, like, mechanical parts from this. I just want to see if I take this apart, will it take off both of them or not? Look, uh, I'm not saying I'm smart. <laughs> I, there's a lot of things where, like, I have a lot of medical conditions and I just don't notice when one of them's doing something more often than not. I'll be like, oh, yeah, that's just normal for me, especially because I've got Crohn's disease, uh, which you guys can look that one up. I'm not going to try to explain that one at the moment. That's a bit of a too much information. But, um, yeah, it affects, like, a lot of things that I can eat my health overall and yeah I just when shit's going wrong I just assume it's that generally because it, it encompasses so many different areas of my life and affects like so many things in like minute ways oh uh, yeah yeah no I agree with that humans can be so stupid at times like I love listening to the stories of people that are like uh, what was actually like a medical emergency that you didn't think was a medical emergency. And they'll talk about something and the whole time you're listening to it, you're like, that is seriously a medical emergency. Why aren't you going to a hospital? And then they'll get to the end of it and it's like they were only hours away from like a life-threatening situation and you're like, yeah, no shit. 
but like in most cases like you know some people won't see doctors or medical professionals and stuff for like financial reasons for instance and you're like yeah no i totally understand like if you can if you can prove that it's not that and avoid the cost it's it's worth it in that sense i get it oh we hadn't looted this and eh, it's just a hat the other thing too that's interesting about this game now is that shit just explodes sometimes when you loot it. Like particularly the bird's nest. I'm still not used to seeing a bird's nest explode when I'm done looting it. Like, you know, can you imagine being somebody that like has like chickens and stuff, right? And you imagine that like the world just decides to patch itself and do an update and all of a sudden you go to loot the the chicken's nest and the nest like explode after you pick up the egg like how would you deal with that logically in the real world because like seriously <laughs> it doesn't make a lot of sense to me yeah no um australia actually had free health care up until about last year you got zombies yeah i'm doing a mission no i'm just scrapping stuff chatting a chat um uh, yeah, no, we had free healthcare up until a last of year. Like, uh, you know, quickly doing a mission. Yeah, no, I, I saw you like accepting. I've been seeing the things coming up. I'm like, oh yeah, it's good though because oh. I've got this place mostly scrapped. <laughs> it's almost oh. night time too, by the way. Uh, yeah. That might be a problem for I where he is. Mission. Yeah. So apparently, what's happened yeah, is no way. To my understanding, um, we pay for There's free healthcare through our taxes. Zombies. All good. But at least you can, like, kit up if you need to come up this way. Or finish your quest. Um, well, I died, so that's a fail. They could always grab a coffee before um, Blood Moon happens. Oh, if you need a fresh one. Day. Yeah. Um, yeah, so apparently what happens... Also, welcome in, Shadow. Yeah, if I needed to have a rough guess, it would have been, it would have been probably Hold about up. 25 to 30 zombies. That, that's what I mean. It's just like red dots everywhere. You must have got a walking horde in the building with you, with your zombies as well. Because not a lot of... Uh, what tier quests are you doing? Uh, tier three. Ah, yeah, no, that could be possible. Holy shit, she's hungry. How long has she been hungry? I'm just completely oblivious to feeding my person. It's fine. <laughs> Nobody needs to feed them. Um, yeah, no, we we pay for um a lot of public available things like um, public schools and public health care and stuff like that through our taxes. Yeah. That's why it's, um, Australia is quite expensive because we pay 10% taxes on everything. Yeah, no, if you want to. I'm just yammering on at the moment. Um, but, yeah, apparently what's happened is our government is not properly allocating money where it's supposed to be. And because of that, doctors are not getting paid properly. Um, so they started reducing the times down to, I think you could see a doctor for five, five minutes at a time. Um, 10 minutes was a long appointment and they try to pump through as many people a day as they possibly could. And the doctors were basically just capped Like you could tell they were done. They were so done with their jobs. And I felt sorry for them. Cause like, you know, if, like I get sick so easily, so often I get to go and see like a doctor and stuff. Um, I also have a lot of medical conditions and stuff. So again, I see a doctor a lot. Um, but then when they changed it and some of the places started going like um, half private, half public. So private means that either you have private health care or you pay a fee to see the doctor. Um and in some cases, if you're on some kind of government assistance, you get a bit of a half-half. Um, but for the most part, I don't have government assistance and I don't have money to pay for appointments, um, especially like I was unemployed, but I was uneligible for any kind of government support and stuff. So, yeah, I just 
I was in a shit position. I have a lot of medical conditions and I get sick often and now I can't afford to go to the doctor. And then after a few more months, everywhere ended up being kind of semi-private, which means you have to pay everywhere. So Australia kind of lost that perk. So, you know, if you had to call for an ambulance or something like that, yeah, it started to cost money. Um, which Australians are just not prepared for because we've had the luxury of private healthcare. Some of us our entire lives, um, or public healthcare or whatever it is, you know? Um, yeah. So it was a bit of a shock. So like, for instance, I had a couple of times last year where I got sick. I actually ended up with a, um, second degree burn somewhere delicate and I was unable to go see a doctor and I just had to deal with it. Um, I had to basically speak to my pharmacist and try to tend to it myself best I could. I ended up with an infection because for obvious reasons. And then eventually I did have to go see a doctor and they're like, why didn't you come here so soon? And I'm like, well, geez, you know, I just don't have 50 bucks in my bank account to see you with the, oh, I think it was actually 80 bucks for some of them. We saw a really cheap one for 50, but my regular one was 80 and we just didn't have that money spare. So yeah, I will get a drink. Thanks for redeem, Grim. Yeah, the Blood Moon is coming too. It'll be here. Well, it should show up by about 8 a.m. I hope. But yeah, essentially I avoided going to the doctor because I couldn't afford it. Um, there's been a lot of things we just can't afford as well. Um, I will have a stretch. I'll turn my light back on though and I'll crash down so I'm less likely to get a zombie. Um, oh, God. You were saying before that somebody with a broken bone fought off an ambulance crew and they were trying to take him just to look, took a taxi to hospital. You'd be amazed how many people do stuff like that, like actually avoid it, like, um, I had to look into how much it costs to actually see a uh, private hospital in the event of any of my conditions going wrong. And I think it's $150, give or take. It was back around Christmas time to see a private hospital for emergency just to get checked out. And if anything, like we don't have that kind of money spare, but if we had to, like we'd just go for go eating or something like that for a week or something just to like deal so that um, so I could get medically checked if something was severe enough. But yeah, it definitely fucking impacts a lot of things when they fuck with people's ability to get health. Like there's got to be a lot more people out there other than myself that are like, yeah, I need to see a doctor, but I can't afford it kind of thing. Uh, you got to stop giving him coffee, Grim. Hands up, hyper. Grim gave Nightwolf coffee last week, and he ended up hyper. Um, yeah. Just trying to see what else I can pull apart with this while I've got the axe out. Also, I'll give Nightwolf some pats while he's obviously going to get at this coffee. That's if he's interested too, because he's currently eating his um, beef flavored treat. So yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, the beef flavored treat's fine. Like Grim gave him a, a pretty nice like, what was it like a roast bone the other day? Um, I don't eat a lot of meat, so I I can't usually have spares for stuff like that. Unfortunately, I don't know how much Night Wolf would actually like nibble on vegetables and stuff oh fucking hell this is done please tell me you don't require yeah the only repair kit left all right god damn it i don't think i can make them yet so you remember you have an empty fridge you're also a bit hungry yeah don't go stealing his night wolves um his treats yeah if if you have to get stuff uh by all means get some stuff i just I don't think Nightwolf is, like, viciously defending stuff, but, like, I, I'd prefer not to find out. Oh, man. I don't know. I know that the government is trying, well, not the government, the people, are trying to, like, uh, get funding back for medical stuff. 
Because, like, pretty much we're in the, the mind that, like, if our money's not going to the right place, we're pissed about it kind of thing, which is true because, like, we all pay taxes and stuff like that for, um, you know, access to things being free. That's the point. That's the entire point of being a strain here, basically, is, like, we have that system set up. But, yeah, if it's not working, then something needs to be fixed. But then again, like, Australia's been really expensive in the last year or so anyway. For instance, like, uh, my home loan's gone up by about uh, $10. Oh, what's it? Ten dollars per repayment um, each month. So basically, if I've got four repayments in a month and it goes up by ten dollars a month, it goes up by forty dollars across the repayments per month. Um, so it's been going up for about twelve or thirteen months now. So that sucks because I'm basically paying an entire extra home loans worth into into my repayments every month, which really sucks. Bills are going up by about between ten and a hundred dollars per bill, depending on what it is. Any good one that's gone up or is going up recently is my phone's um, phone plan, because apparently I get an extra seventy gigs for four dollars, and I'm okay with that. Like that's the kind of that's the kind of increase I can get behind, but like everything else can fuck right off, honestly. Um, but yeah, like. There's got to be people that are in, like, better situations and stuff than me as well because, like, I spent a couple of years unemployed. So um, even though we had stuff put aside, like, we had savings and stuff then, like, none of that mattered. Well, that might fall apart soon. None of that mattered after you've been unemployed for, like, two years. Like, that just depletes down to nothing, you know. But, yeah, I had I had all these plans. I was going to, like repair a heap of stuff on my house and I was going to replace some things that were kind of broken back then or if not completely broken um, there were upgrades and repairs to my car that needed doing but um, yeah all of that basically got put on hold I'll get back around to it eventually eventually I'll hit some kind of level of stability um, uh, Nightmorph might just be distracted too like if you leave it near him, like he might be just really fucking focused on the um, the um, beef flavored uh, treat because nobody's given him one yet. So if you leave the um, the cow rib nearby, he might actually take off with that. Because sometimes he does like run off into the night and like disappear for a few hours and then like comes back. So I don't know where he stashes things, but I assume it's somewhere out there. You need to fix your clock eye patch on your right eye. I guess, oh, the steampunk timekeeper character. I was going to say, I'm like, I was so confused by that for a second there. I'm like, wait a minute, you've got a clock on your night patch and also you have a night patch. I'm like, do I just have cool people here? Because like, holy fuck, that's awesome. Um, but that's still awesome. Let me, let me take apart this. I should be able to take it apart with this. Oh, bless. I'm sure I discuss you. I was wondering whether or not you're lurking around. Blood Moon's going to be pretty soon, too, um, within the next hour. So I've got everything set up in the background to record how it goes. So see how it goes. Because I ended up, after putting the computer back together, well, pulling it apart and cleaning it and installing and stuff on Saturday, I, um, I like... I think my sinus is a chock full of either pollen or dust and I'm rolling a migraine. So uh, my brain capacity is not there. So, and then Sunday we ended up going for a drive and got little massages for our anniversary. So yeah, 10 years and that's a camera that needs to go. No surveillance in this place. Thank you. Uh, you must've gone outside grim cause it's fucking cold. Like it's cold tonight. I went outside earlier, actually, and you know the worst part is my fucking jumper was in the wash because, like, I've got OCD hygiene and hand washing, right? So every so often I'll just accidentally bump past something or, like, my clothes will brush past something and it's got to go. It's got to get washed. And that's what keeps happening to my jumper at the moment is I keep having to wash it because I keep fucking up. 
And, um, yeah, that's why my jumper keeps going through the wash. So I don't have a jumper tonight. And it's it's pretty cold. I've got the heater on. Um, I've got a little blanket as well. Yeah, that is wood. Oh, yeah, that's right. She's fucking hungry. Wait a minute. Do I have food? I got corn. I saw this symbol like five minutes ago and I completely ignored it. I'm so used to just not feeding her. Um, I was end game um, completion hunting on the last server. So I had like a level 324 or whatever. And there was absolutely no reason for me to feed her or give her water much until they started patching in stuff where she'd get hungry and thirsty real quick. And yeah, now I've actually got to remember to feed her because we're low level characters. I don't even know what level I am. I might actually have a point. I do. And I'm going to keep my hand the fuck away from the W key while I actually decide where I want to put that because I keep fucking up. Okay. I had these two. I wanted more on pack mule, but to get that, I'd need more strength. Is there anything else that could benefit? I got one into healing factor, so she heals a bit. I got two into cardio, which actually has more room for a third, but I don't need that today. Moving off the land, can't go higher. Let's see. That one's already perked up from something I've got on. I haven't got anything in there. No surprise. Let's see. Books. So in the last game, not only was I at level 324, which you cap at 300, so I had 24 extra points. I had read all the books except for uh, the Magnum Enforcer number six, which ironically, guys, I've read. I actually found that without even knowing and read it this time. But now we've got all these to do as well. So I'm thinking I do want to get more Pack Mule and I don't have room for it because what Pack Mule basically does is at the moment it's buffed down here because I've got extra stuff in my clothes. These, right? But they're taking up valuable space for like uh, anything that helps towards cold or heat or durability and stuff like that. But I have extra pockets sewn in to take away from that. So I could remove them and give them to somebody else on the server that needs it by simply upgrading... Um, pack mule but to do that I actually need strength I've been meaning to do that for three levels but for three levels I've been on this screen and hit the w key and automatically upgraded perception which is my fuck up realistically um okay what else can I take apart it's basically day it's gonna be day of and I do want to get in there um these might be soil of some sort yeah sand okay I'll take these apart I'm also very easily distracted in this game by like generic chores <laughs> I'm terrible at it uh, your character's an ex airship pilot too that's pretty cool Fatality. <laughs> oh blessed you've activated the um, judging gopher everybody knows what you did now and that gopher's going to sit there and judge you. I fucking love a day. I have a few of those hidden around the place. Oh, Rodwin! Rodwin's activating monkey. Hi, Rodwin. Oh, shit. Here we go again. Oh, hello. Calm down, love. I don't have the stamina for this. I could just use my gun, but... It that was kind of effective. Yippee! Come on. Come on. Don't stop laughing at me. That work? That did work. I did move my character around so you guys can actually see when I get XP and shit now. So that helps. Also, welcome in, guys. Um, oh, that might actually explode if I do that. Hold on. Let's do that instead. Um, yeah, it's interesting tonight because... Um, I'm either sick and have a migraine or I just have a migraine and my sinuses hurt. It's A or it's B, but I don't have much thought process going on. Yeah, no, that's okay. Um, if you want to head off, you can, you can always head off. Um, thanks for hanging around and 
and checking out my stream. I'm pretty consistent with my with my times. I normally stream either at 9 p.m. or 10 p.m. Australian time. So if you're not really sure when I'm going to be on, just have a look at my schedule. I'm pretty consistent. Tomorrow will be RimWorld. And I've got a massive base in there. So that's worth checking out for sure. Um, oh, you guys come into Jewel. Lol. Um, well, if you're lucky, Blush, you might be able to get some of his points. So I know you lost <gasps> books. I know you lost all your points the other day. You disgust me. Go on. <laughs> I know. I I love having that honestly. Like, um, I try to keep like generally pretty positive and stuff, uh, redeems or whatever, because like I just I don't want anything particularly hateful and stuff. But I find like Zap Brannigan's you disgust me. I actually find that in some ways positive and funny. I find it more funny, I think, than I do um, upsetting in any way. This has got glass on it. Yeah. Um, okay, well, this is where I'm supposed to come in. I do want to get rid of these couple of things before I go inside. You can explode these too. I might just take the sand away because I've already emptied them. Um, the this You disgust me thing. Yeah, I... I love the fucking episodes. Like, I tried to find a few from Future. I tried to have a few from Professor Farnsworth and Twitch won't let me have them. It's really quite funny because I'm like, he, in the clips that I've got, he's not saying anything specific, but it must be trademarked somewhere um, or copyrighted or something, his phrase, because it won't let me have them. Okay, I think everything of value out here is mostly gone. Uh, except for this. This can come with me. It'll give me mechanical parts, and I know they'll destroy it in, like, one hit. All right. So let's go in here. Sh I can't shut that. This is gone. Um, yeah, okay. I can only take apart whatever I can actually take apart now with my axe. And, oh, shit, give me that back. I hit the wrong button. There we go. That's one. Yeah, because... I don't have a lot more um, durability on this and the durability that I do have, I can't repair. So whatever I take apart is whatever I take apart. I should be able to, I don't know, those ones I can, other bigger ones I'll probably take apart with the pickaxe. Um, I was wondering, is it, Here we go oh, again. is it Sunday for you guys or is it, now to mon uh, Monday for uh, Rodwin and Triantha. As I was wondering about that. What are you doing, Azula? Is, is Nick doing something, is he? Oh, I just put my finger on her nose and she just like gave me this like look. Like, why would you? I, I gave her um I gave her cat bed a wash up and she's she's really excited about it, but at the same time, like she's gotta like have a full Full entire bath. Yeah, I could probably do a, some repair kits, honestly. Just a couple to repair my stuff. I pulled apart a lot of stuff up here. Oh, yeah. I, I see. I figured it was Monday for you guys. Monday in Canada and almost 7.30 for you for Rodwin. Yeah. Um. See, it's almost 11.30 now. I think this was... Nope, that one's metal. About this, can I? Yeah, I could take these apart. Come on, stamina. Do I have drinks? Yeah. I've still got food and drinks and stuff. I should actually give her water because I made her eat the corn before, which takes away water. I find it really funny that juicy, juicy corn apparently takes away the equivalent of five water. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but when I actually eat, like, a cob of corn, I feel relatively hydrated after the fucking thing. All right, let's get this out. This will be a little bit faster. In ways. Oh, man. Nightwolf is back and super, super spoiled tonight. He must have finished eating the, um, the beef treats. Um... Yeah, that's its own part. I couldn't take that apart. 
Yeah, so when it hits 8 a.m., it should go red to suggest that today would be Blood Moon. And we're still in the kind of stage where we don't really have um, good defense stuff. So anything that we actually put down isn't going to hold up for very long. So I'm not even going to bother. Really, that was that was a fucking waste. I'm not going to bother putting down much in the way of defense stuff. I'm just going to try to get up on the roof and be somewhere where I can shoot things, hopefully. Oh, man. It's kind of funny. So I ended up getting a little, like, uh, neck and shoulder massage on Wednesday. But the funny thing is both Nick and I were so fucking incapacitated because we tried to get one that we could both we could both get one, right? And um, we ended up both not being able to move by, I think, 5 or 6 o'clock, like several hours after we got it done. So... Like, the person that... Because we got two different people that did our massages, right? And I thought mine actually did really well. Because, like, um, fun fact is if a massage is really good, I start to drool. <laughs> and um, I was not only drooling, but I was actually starting to fall asleep, which is a first, which must be the next tier up. So um, I actually, like, came out of the massage